far, this tour has been amazing. We've learned a lot about Medellin. I knew we were right behind one of Botero's uh, sculptures and it, uh... As we're walking into the most populated part of the city and what they suggest that we do is probably put our cameras away <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna take their advice. Only if you're wearing shorts, glasses, dresses, welcome to Gringoland, my friends. You are a gringo anyways. currently in Medellin, Colombia, or we're not really in Medellin, we're about 30 minutes away. We're in this little town called Envigado. And what we're doing now is house sitting. So what we do every morning, you guys, is we walk the dogs to a park. There are so many parks that can be found here in Medellin. There are dog parks, walking parks, children parks, smoking parks, whatever kind of parks you want, you can definitely find it here. But right now we're on our way to a dog park and uh, we're walking through we're walking through the neighborhood oh faustino you did not get that poop oh you down bad so if you don't see the poop he doesn't pick it up y'all i just wanted to let y'all know so it looks like there's a new store that is opening here the line is leave her alone come on see okay the line is super long. I don't even know what kind of store this is that they're opening. D1. It looks like an electronic store of some sort. This kind of looks like a Black Friday line. And yeah. it just keeps going. So anyway, we're going to keep going to the park because we have a long day ahead of us. Off to the park we go. Lead the way, you guys. Not Army. <laughs> And on the way, they're going to meet a friend that I hope, <laughs> buenos dias. <laughs> that I hope they don't bark at. So guys, we are actually, um, we're headed into Medellin today. We are going on a walking tour, so this should definitely be fun. But first we have to uh, take the dogs to the park and they stop every five seconds, but we're gonna take the dogs to the park and then we'll pick up the camera a little bit so later. Right beside the park, you guys, there is a stadium, which seems like a roller park, a roller skate park. Oh boy, dear. So right now what we're doing is we are waiting for them to tire themselves out basically, and then we'll probably just head back to the house. Wow. Today we are actually going on a walking tour and I'm kind of excited about that because we haven't gotten out to see much of Colombia lately So this should definitely do it. It's gonna be a three-hour walking tour. They're gonna tell us about foods culture So this should be very interesting very excited about that guys uh, today's Saturday I hope that you are out taking advantage of a, well this beautiful day wherever you are in the world and um what we'll do is we'll wait for the dogs to tire themselves out. We're probably going to look at some roller skaters that are right next to the park and we'll see you guys in a few. So what they have here as far as uh, transportation is this app called Beat. We downloaded the Beat app and we are now currently waiting on our ride which is seven minutes away. that you can definitely count on when you are uh, in Medellin is traffic. There's traffic damn near every time we get in the cab, everywhere. So uh, it's gonna take a little bit longer than expected to make it down to the city, but um, it looks like it's, it's, uh, it's kind of flowing, so that's good. We are supposed to be looking for a red umbrella, so we're gonna get dropped off at the metro station and we are in search of a red umbrella. So let's see if we can find it. We'll pick the camera back up once we make it there. to the metro station we just checked in with our tour guide her name is natalia welcome to the real city again my name natalia 
Anyway, we just made it here. It looks like it's going to be about maybe five or six people in our group. The tour is going to be about three hours and we're excited. Well, yes. I'm excited. <laughs> I'm excited too. I think we're traveling with, uh, I think we're touring with Red City Tours. Uh, tonight's found them online. Welcome to Medellin and of course, welcome to the real city. Again, my name is Natalia. Let me describe the place for all of you. Downtown Medellin, the most amazing place on earth. But it can be very crowded, especially because of the season. Keep in mind, very much the early days of December and November doesn't exist in Colombia. If you have blonde or ginger, of course. <laughs> if you have blue or green eyes. If you're taller, than the average Colombians, then let's be honest. Most of the time you are, or if you're wearing shorts, glasses, dresses, welcome to Gringoland, my friends. You are a gringo anyways. <laughs> There's nothing you can actually do about it. Hey, so our first stop was in the center of the city and here you can find a lot of the government buildings there's actually a building that is to my left where the governor actually works yes there's this enormous monument that sits in the middle i think you can see it right there and Faustino is going to explain a little bit more about the monument to you <laughs> you say you so, remember <laughs> so it started off as their history and they're basically saying how how the country started from uh, how it was founded and it went through its uh period of reconstruction so uh, it's a good little history on it and the actually the artist that built the uh, sculpture his uh, ashes yeah. were actually gathered and put in a box that sits right next to the sculpture from the right towards the left on the right on this corner over here you see a green couple a man, a man holding a pickaxe and a woman holding a plate representing of course the gold mining era Still on the right, you see a bunch of horses on mules kind of struggling across the river of Aswampa. That is representing when we moved to the coffee region. And still on the right, in the bottom, behind this little tree that we have on the right, you're gonna have uh, like a funny looking wheel. You see, like with the spoons on it? That is a Pelton wheel, one of the triggers of our industrial revolution. It's actually a turbine that generates electricity. In the middle, where the bronze sky is, of course, representing Catholicism. Colombia, my friends, is still nowadays identifies pretty much as a Catholic nation. On the very left, in the bottom, where the monument starts to bend over, I will say that from here, we get to see the end of like this, death. And as long as I don't want to die, for me, that is a monster. That's why we have those monsters on top. This is the administrative center of the city where the power is located. Behind you, the city hall. Behind me, the governor's house where the governor works, of course. brings us to a statue that shows the governor and his secretary. Right, it's the two governors were actually kidnapped by the FARC and uh, seconds right before the uh, Colombian government was able to get there to rescue them, they found them hanging from a tree. And now they are placed in the middle of the government center so that they can be commemorated and there are also trees that they're standing by. We gotta go, come on. <laughs> okay, here. This is called the Square of Lights. It used to be called the Square of Crime in Medellin. Yeah, so there was this mad teacher who decided that they were tired of living in the stigma of uh, drug cartels. So yeah. he decided to basically change the Everything. atmosphere right. around here. He changed it through uh, changing the architecture. So basically, if you build good, nice buildings around a crime ridden area, then good people will come. So now what we're gonna do is we're walking into the most populated part of the city. And what they suggest that we do is probably put our cameras <laughs> away. And uh, I'm gonna take their advice. <laughs> Thank you.
So this is the old palace of justice that they've turned into uh, a mall. It looks pretty cool. It looks like something, I don't know, it looks like something out of Rome or something. So after walking around for about an hour on our walking tour, we were pointed in the direction of what's supposed to be the best Colombian coffee shop here in Medellin. So Pastino's inside right now. He's getting us both uh, two coffees. We're gonna try two different coffees and um, we're gonna see if it's really the best coffee shop down here. We just picked up some empanadas and some coffee and that's gonna be our break food for the next 15 minutes. winding down we have ended up in what's the name of this square do you um, remember i know it's a center square i don't know the name of the square but i know we're right behind one of botero's uh sculptures and the uh sculptures are actually worth a million each and i think he dedicated or he gave away 23 uh sculptures to this park i want to say it's the first saturday of every month there is a market that's right. held here so we were very lucky to be able to witness this because it's pretty cool it is it is they're selling trinkets and food and everything we finished up with our walking tour and made it back home just in time we are actually here why are we lighting our candles Faustino uh, they told us today it will oh, celebrate the mother baby so Jesus. December 7th <laughs> So December 7th uh, is celebrated here in Colombia as the beginning of the Christmas holidays. So today is known as the Day of Candles. It's a unofficial holiday basically, but it's celebrated throughout Colombia. Medellin celebrates it in a different way than Bogota. But here, what we're gonna do is we're gonna light candles in front of our doors. Um, we see a lot of other neighbors that are already lighting their candles. It's supposed to start at seven o'clock and it's usually throughout the entire night. So I think that what we're gonna do is we are going to head over to the street that's um, that's right next to ours. The entire street has lights and everyone in the neighborhood participated. Okay, this doesn't end. You gotta mail it out the box. Time for miracles wishing to find a remedy home. Of 
So, what we were told was to think about this day as sort of a Thanksgiving. This is a day where family and friends meet up together, um, they eat dinner, they have fun, they drink, and they're merry. They're also celebrating the beginning of the Christmas holidays. So guys, the candles are supposed to represent the immaculate conception of the Virgin Mary. So legend has it that when you light a candle, you are lighting a wish for the upcoming year. So this is very cool. People are standing outside, they're lighting their candles, they're gathered together with their family and friends. They have bags all aligned in the middle of the street. They have actually closed the street down so that uh, traffic cannot pass through. So this is pretty cool. This is the only street that we've been on so far, but um, I think that we're gonna walk around a bit and see what else we can find. Hey, don't forget, if you're interested in pet sitting or house sitting around the world, make sure you try our trusted house sitters link below. Hey guys, don't forget to subscribe.